So today is all about our paleontology and dinosaur unit study. Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. Today I wanted to share the next unit study that I will be, or science unit study that I'll be doing with my fifth grade daughter, Lydia. Um, we are just finishing up our vet unit study. Um, it took us about a quarter. So the entire first quarter of this homeschool year, we were doing nothing but vet science for our science. And it went really, really well. But last year, when both of my girls were doing science together, um, I have an eighth grader and a fifth grader this year. Last year, we did an archaeology unit study, and I just kind of kept it simple. Like we just worked out of one little book, did a couple of little crafts, and just left it at that. But my youngest daughter loved learning about archaeology, so I thought it would be perfect to do paleontology. So we are going to be doing the paleontology science unit study from the good and the beautiful. And um, we were kind of waiting for this one to come out. It's um, pretty new still. But uh, this does talk a little bit about archaeology um, inside of this unit when I was like looking through it. Um, paleontology and like dinosaurs. So I thought that she would really, really enjoy this. So our topic for this unit study is paleontology slash dinosaurs. Um, I also wanted to mention that I will put a list of movies um, at the end of this video uh, for movies that we'll be using um, to go along with this as well. So stick around if you want to see that. Um, but let's jump into it. So like I said, we are going to be using the Good and the Beautiful's Paleontology Science Unit for our spine. And then I'm going to add in some other stuff to just kind of beef this up. So we did get the student journal with it. Um, so she'll be working out of this one. This is for grades three through six. And my oldest daughter, I told her that she can sit in with us if she wanted to get involved in this unit study. And she said she might, she might not. She's on her own science program now. So she said she's not sure if she wants to. So I didn't get her a journal, but I figured she could always just sit in and listen if she wants to. But I think that these new put together student journals from The Good and the Beautiful look really great. Um, and I love the fact that I don't have to like print it all out and put it together myself. The same with these um, unit study, like, uh, what are these called? Like course books. <laughs> they used to not be bound, but now you get them bound. And I love that. It saves me so much time. But this one looks like a lot of fun. And again, my youngest daughter loves this kind of stuff. So this is going to be our focus. I'm thinking this is going to take us through second quarter. I can't really say how long it really will take us, but I'm hoping that this will only last, for, uh, you know, for second quarter. And I was trying not to get too crazy with it because second quarter for us tends to get busier when it comes to reading and things like that. So because now we have like holiday books we like to add in and holiday crafts. So I was trying not to, you know, be too, I, I was trying not to have too much stuff, but I don't think I did a very good job with that. Anyway, so for her personal readers for this unit study, I only chose two simple readers for her because she is still working out of um, her bad kitty readers from her vet unit study and she really likes those. So I'm not going to make her stop reading those just so that she could read something that goes with this. So she'll be reading um, Get to Know Your Universe, Science Comics, Dinosaurs, Fossils and Feathers. So this is the first one. Um, that she will be reading independently. This is probably something that she'll read at night, right before bed. But she does like comics, so I thought that this would be perfect for her. And then this one is a DK Pockets dinosaur book. So it's a really tiny book, but I thought that she can use this as a reader by just reading about like maybe two or three dinosaurs a night, and then that's it um, until she gets through the whole book. But it is just a whole bunch of information about all different dinosaurs, and I thought that this would go great with this unit study. So, of course, if you've uh, visited my channel before, you know that we love writings from the wild, the letter subscription. Um, I ended up getting the dinosaur bundle where it is... I think it's six letters, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So you get six different letters um, about six different dinosaurs. 
and they're really cute. So we'll probably read one of these a week. And then these letters also come with the information card. And we did just update this subscription to the premium subscription where you get a little bit more um, each month with your letters. We haven't received the first one yet, so I, I don't exactly know what comes in it. I was just like, ooh, premium, yes. So we got these letters and my kids really, or my kids, Lydia really enjoys um, these letters a lot. Bella likes them. She just, you know, she'll read them once and be done where Lydia will read them over and over again. I also added in Dinosaur Mad Libs. Lydia loves making silly sentences. And then these next three books were actually um, like a book pack that went with the Good and the Beautiful's Paleontology Unit. So it is Amazing Archaeological Digs. Ancient Animals. These one, this one looks like a lot of fun too. It's just, it, it kind of reminds me of the pocket dinosaur book. And then the ultimate dinosaur guide. So these look like a lot, look like a lot of fun. I feel like I'm getting tongue twisted today. And then these are the ones that I added in that I'll be reading to her. The one of the first ones is what was the age of the dinosaurs? These, this, um, the who was, what was, where was books, we usually get through these in like three days, two to three days. So this won't take us very long. I was also, again, I was trying not to add too many long books in this unit because we do so much more reading at this time of year. So I didn't want to feel like we were getting overwhelmed. So I also picked up Fossils Tell of, Fossils Tell of Long Ago. Digging Up Dinosaurs. Fossil Hunter. Now this one is just a little bit longer, but it looks like it's a really fun book. You Can Be a Paleontologist. There we go. I was like, I couldn't, I can't turn the page. I'm trying not to get the reflection from my, my light too much. And then I also picked up Inside Out T-Rex. Um, we love these Inside Out books. I feel like they give a good amount of information, but then you also see, you know, the layers. So this, these books, we have one on castles. What else did we have one on? I can't remember, but we have a few of these and they are just a lot of fun. Oh, we have one on horses. We just did it for our unit study, our vet unit study. Now, these two books, I think I'm going to pick one or the other. I, I'm not sure, but this is the DK Eyewitness Books Dinosaur. This one I kind of feel like I might like more. I'm not sure, but uh, it comes with like a little um, like CD thing. But yeah, so this one just looks like I, I might like it a little bit more. I'm not sure. I may, I may just work out of both of these books. I'm not positive, but they seem very similar. This is the complete guide to dinosaurs. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'll get through both of these um, from, you know, cover to cover, but I will pull out, you know, chunks of stuff um, from these books. Now these ones are just kind of fun. I kind of just got these because I liked them and I think my daughter would really like them. This is called Dinosaur, but it is um, one of those books that it makes the pictures look like they move. Oh, I do it right. It makes the pictures look like they move, but it also gives you information about dinosaurs. So I just thought that that would be a lot of fun. And then I also picked up the encyclopedia um, of dinosaurs and this is a pop-up so this we love pop-up books as well and my kids are 
old enough to where they're not like destroying them. Um, I waited to buy pop-up books until my kids were older just because I think it would hurt my heart if my kids ripped up <laughs> books like this. But this one just, it looks like a lot of fun. So those are the books that I chose. Now let's talk about some of the games, crafts, um, and like hands-on activities. So the first thing I picked up is just this little puzzle. This is a glow-in-the-dark dino fossil puzzle. I'll see if I can. That's what the puzzle looks like, but it's just like in this little vial. And I thought that that was super cute. And then I also picked up the um, See Inside the Dinosaur, the 3D explore, yeah, exploration. So I know that I have the T-Rex Inside Out one. I just thought it would be fun to have another dinosaur um, as well. Now for games, I have Guess in 10 Deadly Dinosaurs. We actually have already started playing this here and there, so I just decided to add it in anyway. Um, we kind of play games all the time, so <laughs> um, Guess in 10 Deadly Dinosaurs. And then I also have Dinosaur Bingo. We play bingo a lot. We have so many different bingo games, um, and this one is a lot of fun. It's just, to be honest, when we were playing this one before, I can't pronounce any of the names, so I'm asking our dot like every five seconds, how do you say this name? How do you say this word? So, I mean, I'm learning a lot too, I guess. Now, for some more hands-on activities and crafts, um, these came from the Dollar Tree, but this is a 3D dinosaur puzzle. I bought three different ones. I just thought that this would be something fun for her to do while I'm reading to her. And they're small, you know, there's not, how many does it even say? Oh, I don't see if where it says how many pieces there are, but they're not, it's not a lot. It's like something she could do, you know, during one reading. But I bought three different ones. This one is like building the actual dinosaur. Now this one is deadly species deadly dinosaur species of the world. These are educational magnets and learning. It says educational magnets and learning materials. So this, I really like these because it has like the information about, you know, what you're talking about, but then the dinosaurs are magnets. So she can actually play, um, play around with these on our, mag our, on our magnetic whiteboard um, and stuff like that as I'm reading to her as well, where she could sit there and learn the different names of the dinosaurs. And then to kind of tie in a little bit more with paleontology, I found this fossil collection kit. I forgot I had this, so I thought that I could pull this out and, and just use this one. It's 12 different authentic fossils including a real dinosaur dinosaur bone, shark teeth, and more. So I just thought that this would be fun to pull out and look at, grab our, you know, our microscope, stuff like that. I picked up dinosaur fingerprints. My daughter loves these fingerprint, like, painting books still. She has a whole bunch of different ones, um, but this one is specifically dinosaurs, so I thought that she would enjoy this one a lot while we do this unit. Now, dig kits. I feel like you have to have dig kits if you're doing any kind of archaeology, uh, paleontology, dinosaur, anything like that. You have to have dig kits. So I picked up a couple of different dig kits. And then I also have a special dig kit that I'll be putting on for her later on in the unit. But the first one I picked up is this Discovery um, Dinosaur Fossil Dig. And this is for a T-Rex. So this one is specific for a T-Rex. Um, I can't remember where I get this. I may have got this at Hobby Lobby. I may have gotten this at Hobby Lobby, but this one just looks like a lot of fun. So you dig out the 15 dinosaur bones and then you have to put the bones together to build the T-Rex. And then this one I picked up at five below. This is unbelievable science. And this is um, a fossil dig, but this is a triceratops. But what's fun about this one is that you have four different digs. So you have a gel, like a, it's jelly, right? Yeah, it's you dig through jelly, you dig through sand, and then you have two dig through rock ones. So I just thought that that would be fun just mixing up what you're digging through 
And it's also a different dinosaur. So it's a triceratops. No. What is it? Yeah. Wait, what is this? Yeah, it's a triceratops, not the T-Rex. Okay. And then I forgot I bought this one because I bought it a while ago. Um, but I, I, we're still going to use it. She loves dig kits. She's always, you know, digging through something. But this is the Paleontologist Starter Kit through KiwiCo. So I did buy this one for her. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. And it has all the stuff that we need to do any of these activities. Um, yeah, I mean, if, you're, if you've seen my channel before, you know we get a lot of Kiwi boxes for my youngest daughter. She just really enjoys them. Now, the last thing that we'll be doing with this unit study is I'm going to be setting up an actual dig site for my daughter in our backyard. I mean, our backyard is already already a, it's already a mess. Like we don't have grass right now back there. So it's just nothing but dirt. So I thought, eh, we might as well put a dig site out there for her. So I found these. Um, these are supposed to be, I think, sand molds like to go to the beach. I found a T-Rex sand uh, sand mold. And then I still call them long necks. I don't know the technical term of that dinosaur, but I found a long neck dinosaur mold as well. And I'm going to use these to make my own dinosaur bone or, you know, make my own dinosaur bones um, with some air dry clay. So I am going to make molds of these dinosaurs and I'm going to set up a dig site in my backyard for her where she needs to go out there with her tools and her brushes and go and find them in the ground herself. I'm going to be digging through our backyard and I'm going to make sure that these bones are slightly at different layers in different spots things like that um, just for her to really have a really good time and just find her own you know dinosaur bones so again these came from the dollar tree and they were with like the beach toys so when i seen these i was like oh my gosh i have to get them i have to do our our own dig site it would be so much fun i just need to make sure that i i get this all set up before the bad weather comes but yeah so she's gonna really enjoy this and again, I'm just going to be using some air dry clay, um, just some white air dry clay to go um, with these molds and make our own dig site. I'm really excited for that. Um, my daughter really loves the movies um, Indiana Jones, so I'm sure that we'll be watching those right before she does her own little, you know, dig. And then this, it's not really... It's not really an activity, really, but um, I thought that we would kind of celebrate this unit with maybe baking some cupcakes and just having these cute little dinosaur um, cupcake liners and decorations and stuff just to kind of end the unit with something fun and almost like a celebration. So that is everything that I got for her paleontology dinosaur unit study. Again, I wanted to keep this one a little bit lighter because we read so much more during the holiday season um, that I just wanted to make I wanted to make sure that I wasn't bombarding us and overwhelming us with too many books. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.